Okay, so hello everyone. This is Akshay here. Welcome back to the another day of our GFGP rule streak. But ah, uh, let's see. Question: What's your name? Yeah. Find the closest pair from two arrays. It's an easy category question, or they can be easy. Look, right? So we have been given two arrays, ARR and BRR, and a number x. Find the pair whose sum is closest to x, and the pair has an element from each array. In the case of multiple closest pairs, return any one of them. Okay. The output represents the closest difference of the sum with the number x. Okay. Input output. We have seen. 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 We have Must be closest to the given x, right? So here the that that possible pair is thirty comma one. One is taken from the first array and the thirty is taken from the second array. The summation is to thirty one and that's the closest one, right? So we just need to maintain the difference, the difference of all the possible pair sum with the given x. Whoever has the lesser difference will keep on updating our answer. <laughs> yep, that would be our method one, I guess. Similarly, we have second text case, and then if the output is just one, why are they giving array list? Let us read your task is to size of the array and return the array of two. Okay, so we need to return the array of those two integers whose sum is closest to x. Okay, that's great. ठीक है तो ये तो simple सा यार. Ah, what we can say is that the method one would be like this: that form all possible pairs from Form all possible pairs. Check who has a uh, check least difference. Hmm. Check least difference from x. From so for achieving this purpose, we'll be using a let's say difference variable. Let's say which will be first of all initializing to plus infinity. So that is easy, right? So please pause this video here. Try to form all the possible pairs and do what they have uh, said in the question, and then we'll be good to go for our brute force technique. Let us do that and then assume again. Okay, so that is the method one. That uh, uh, we are running two nested for loop, forming each and uh, each and every possible pair, and we are storing the sum value in array of i bis uh, b r r of j minus x and what and the a b s. Why a b s here? Because we need to check the least difference. Because uh, what is let's say for it was thirty two, right? So let's say the first. Uh, The pair, the first pair which you form was fifteen, and uh, uh, what to say, twenty one. Okay. So this was the test case I was talking about. So let's say you have pair fifteen comma twenty one. The given array elements, they are this parting, this part of the first array and this part of the second array, right? And the given x has thirty two. So if you calculate the sum, fifteen plus twenty one will give you as thirty six. And what is the difference? The difference is four. Correct. Let's say we have another test case that is 15 from one array and 16 from another, and it would be 31, right? To 26, 31. And what is the difference here? Is one, right? Just one. So that means this is the closest. This particular element, this particular pair of elements, is closest to given x, and that is what we need to return. But clearly, if you see, if you just do 36 minus 32, here it will work, which will give you as four. But if you do here 31 minus 32, it will give you as minus one, right? And we need to compare it with the plus value. So that is why. I am taking the ABS values, correct? Okay. So that's what we have compared math dot ABS uh, array of i plus uh, b r r of j minus x and uh, okay. So this is the thing. I need to omit. Okay. So if value is less than equals to less than difference, right? Then definitely you need to st uh, store that particular new uh, new difference of your current sum and your current x. And you need to store that particular elements as well. So in further iterations, whenever you will be getting the sum lesser than your previous difference, you will be keep on updating your difference as well as the array elements, right? Let us compile and run. Great, the compilation has passed successfully. Let us hit the submit button for this brute force. And what is the time complexity? The time complexity we are using is n cross m. And what is the constraint given here? Is okay. So we have some. Wrong answer. So let me see that. So the first array has two elements, second has eight elements, and this is the given elements. The x is thirteen. 
So if I am receiving an output 0, then definitely there would be one pair. Yeah. So 5 from the first array, 8 from the second array sums up to 13. And 13 would be the closest to the given x, right? So that is why the output is okay. That is right. Why they are returning 1. Okay, so let us assume. I'm just assuming now that should not be the case. Yeah, 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 answer 0 hi hona tha. But let us assume that in the closest thing in which they are referring, they are not talking about exact closest. That you do not need to maybe form the pair which is exact equals to the given x. I don't know. Let's just do that because that is not mentioned in the question. So now I'm just doing hit and trial now. Uh, okay, let's just do this and run it. Okay, so I need to mention and and here as well. Okay, so like I just assume that maybe they are talking that we do not have to take the pair which is uh, which whose sum is exactly equal to the given x and in that case we are getting a good answer. So let's just now hit the submit button but this is not the thing should happen. Let us see if it uh, happens in some other test cases. Okay. Okay, it has come. So let's just see. So it, we have one and six. Uh, the first element and this element, my expected is 12. And given is 16. How come? How come? Uh, let's just do a quick manual dry run. So it is one, six. The array elements are three, five, four, one, three, one. Let's just do a manual dry run. It should not happening. Three, five, four, one, three, one. And the given x is given you as 20, right? So we just need to see that. Okay, so this this pattern is easy. All the possible pairs will be formed like this: three with four, three with one, three with three, and three with one, right? So I'm just writing the sum directly: three plus three six, three plus five eight, three plus four seven, three plus one four, three plus three six, three plus one four. So these would be the all possible pairs uh, where we are actually finding array of i plus brr of j, right? Now we need to see that which one of these numbers is closest to 20. So like I can manually see that this is the number which is closest to 20, right? So that means I will be pushing 5 and 3 to my array list. And in the inbuilt code, what is happening? It would be 5 plus 3 minus 20 is ABS value may return over, which is definitely 12. Okay, how come they are saying 16 here? Uh, Okay, so no, wait, let me some dry run some more things, then we can jump on conclusion. Okay, I have dry runs. And my conclusion is that this question is wrong. I mean, this question is right, but they have not framed the input test cases correctly. You can see, like you, you just clearly saw, uh, see, uh, when we tried to dry run it, this particular example, definitely its output should be 12. But I don't know they are, they are saying as 16. So definitely, if the question is right, if the question is right, then definitely they have not framed the test cases properly, right? So let's just report a bug here. Okay, so we have raised the bug. And with them, it's always the first time that I have done it, but I made a video bana liya just for the... that you know. Okay, let's stop this question. Uh, let's just see. Uh, is this update happening in the daytime? Also, there are observations here. अगर यहाँ पे two arrays दे रखा है, right? तो हम इसे max of n को मैं में तो कर ही नहीं सकते हैं। ये question मैंने कर रखा है, so that is what method two हम two pointers achieve करने वाले थे, right? अगर ये same question होता तो using sorted, sorted array होता तभी हम two pointers से कर पाते, right? तो अगर sorted array इन्होंने नहीं दिया है let's say, right? तो n log n तो पहले ही लग जाएगा, n log n plus m log n तो पहले ही लग जाएगा sort करने में, right? तो इन्होंने पता नहीं ये कैसे मैक्स ऑफ एन कॉमन देखा है मेरे को नहीं लगता ऐसी कोई टेक्निक कोई अप्रोच एग्जिस्ट करता है जो इस क्वेश्चन को मैक्स ऑफ एन कॉमन में सॉल्व कर दे बट ठीक है यार वेट करते हैं कल डे टाइम में मे बी कुछ अपडेट होगा आई एम श्योर कुछ अपडेट होगा नहीं तो ये क्वेश्चन अगर ये क्वेश्चन सही है तो इनपुट टेस्ट केस गलत है और इनपुट टेस्ट केस सही है तो क्वेश्चन गलत है ठीक है <laughs> तो ठीक है यार ये वीडियो एंड करते हैं तो देखते हैं कल कुछ अपडेट हुआ देन वी कैन आर रिज्यूम अहेड विद दिस क्वेश्चन टिल देन ठीक है रोकते हैं इस वीडियो को मिलते हैं